Good day everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Henry and I'll be taking you guys on our Revit series. Okay, in today's video we're going to be talking about how to create composite cladding panels in Revit. Okay, so before we move on, we'd like you to do us a favor by hitting the like button, subscribing to our channel, hitting the notification bell to get notified when we release a new video, and also sharing with your friends. That said and done, we will thank you and we really appreciate and so we are going to move on. Okay, the first thing to do to create cladding panels easily without the use of casework or extrusion is to click on walls. So what we are planning to do is to use a cutting wall panel, edit it and change it to a cladding, a kind of cladding wall so we can easily edit the profile without the need of cutting and joining any extrusion. So we are just going to go ahead from here. So we are going to click on this wall tab and we are going to look for exterior glazing or rather any type of cutting wall really. Okay, let's just start with exterior glazing and we are going to set the constraints. We are going to set it from the ground floor to ceiling level and we are going to click on edit in place. So after we click on edit in place, we are going to duplicate it. We are just going to change it to cladding, cladding major. Okay, so we're just going to set it at cladding major. So we're going to edit these parameters in this one. So first of all, we're going to click on this automatic embedded or we are not going to click on automatic embedded. Okay, we're going to leave this at fixed distance and we're going to change the spacing to 900. We're going to click on this horizontal grid too and we're going to leave it at fixed distance and change it to the spacing to 1.5 meters. Okay, we are going to look at these munions and we are just going to leave the munions at none for now. But we are still going to get back to it later. So we are going to click OK. And we are just going to draw this wall and place it here. Then we are going to click Escape and we are going to click on the wall. Then click on this two-way tab just to make it face the surface or the visible or viewable surface. Okay, so now we have gone to the 3D view to look at what we've done. So we have just successfully created a sheet of glasses. So the first thing we're going to do is to change these panels of this glass wall. So we're going to tap to select one of the panels. Click on the tab button. Let's do it again because I just deselected it. We're going to click on it. Then we're going to change this exterior system glazed panel and edit it and duplicate it. So we're going to duplicate it to gold or let's use change it to gold cladder. And we're going to click OK. We're going to change this offset to 10 from 37 to 10. Then we're going to change this thickness to also 10. Then we're going to change this uh, material to, to create a new material. Sorry, my system is hanging. It's taking quite some time. Okay. So we're just going to select, let's just use this Illuminous Gold for those, this video. Then we're going to change the material. So we're going to change it. Okay, that said and done, we're now going to click on this Munios. And we're going to create an invisible Munio. So we're going to click Edit and we're going to duplicate. Because we don't want the space. While I'm creating this Munio, I want to use the Munio as a tool to create space in between the panels. And we don't want this um, space to be visible, so we are going to use an invisible material. So I'm just going to name this as Invisible Munio. Okay. Okay, I think it has saved. Then I'm just going to reduce the thickness to 50. I'm going to reduce the width on each side to 10 and 10. Then I'm going to change the material from aluminium to to an air material just air so you just type air and it will find the air material invisible air material and we're going to click ok we're going to click ok then we're going to click escape now so we're going to go back to our wall panel and we're going to click on it and we're going to click edit again so now we're going to change this mullions to the invisible munion we just created. We are going to change all of them to invisible munion. To invisible munion. We're going to change all of them to invisible munion.
okay we're also going to change the panels we're also going to change the panels to under this cotton panel i'm going to change this panel and look for that cladding that cladding panel we just created so let's use gold cladding use gold cladding and click apply so as you can see the editing has the changes have been affected and you can see the spacing in between the panels so once you carry it to a rendering software you could easily see the spacing and it will look like realistic cladding panels okay so i'm just going to click edit we are going to edit the profile of the work I don't know let me go back a bit so i just clicked on the wall just like a regular wall and i already the profile and i'm just going to draw the shapes of my openings just for it to fit very well inside okay so i think this is the i'm going to click escape so i'm just going to select this okay and there you have it people we have just created our cladding panel so you can use this in creating in designing your commercial buildings and all without the need of cutting and joining extrusions and all so if you like the video hit the like button also subscribe to our channel for more content like this hit the notification bell to get notified once we release a new video again and thank you and have a nice day